update to Google Ads misrepresentation policy. So we all hate clickbait, right? But how do you make sure that your ads don't accidentally end up getting caught in this new updated filter? Okay, so let's start right at the very beginning with what is Google Ads misrepresentation policy? I quote, we want users to trust the ads that run on our platform. So we strive to ensure that ads are clear and honest and provide the information that users need to make informed decisions. We don't allow ads or destinations that, deserve, that deceive users by excluding relevant product information or providing misleading information about products, services or businesses. So they're talking about things like failure to disclose payment models or failure to display legitimate physical contact information if you're in the financial services sector. Now, I don't believe this is anything that any of the advertisers that watch or read this are likely to do, but here are some of the subtle changes being rolled out in July, and you'll just need to be mindful when you're writing your new ads. So the first one is clickbait tactics are now going to be banned. So call to actions like click here to find out or before and after images are both going to be flagged and disapproved. Also, ads that use negative life events to promote their products. So if you're in the financial sector and you use terms like bankruptcy, accident or illness, this is no longer going to be allowed. Don't forget to get these updates straight to your inbox, subscribe using the link in the description.